All right. Well, this is gonna be a juggernaut guide, uh, since I'm a jug man, and snowman is a soldier man. Wouldn't make sense for him to do the jug guide. Something about the grappling hook just rots his brain, you know. Uh, in this case, um, I'm doing the same thing, running with everything unlocked. Same with over here. Um, with jug, it doesn't really matter too much. Um, it just kind of depends on how you end up building it. But all these are pretty useful. Um, ignore my tokens. This is my speedrun save. Um, I'm just using this because I have absolutely everything unlocked except for shot glove. I don't know why. I haven't seen it in like a hundred hours to be honest. <laughs> um, but anyway, so the other thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be running on deep dive because I'm not as confident in my neuromancy skills. Um, but I do want to um, play around with the uh, armor, working around that, and showing y'all how that. Uh, you know, you can deal with that. Um, and on top of that, um, it's a little bit easier. And this is probably, in my opinion, the most balanced, um, whatchamacallit, difficulty? Yeah, I, I just forgot the word for difficulty. Shut up. Um, so just gonna roll with whatever we get. Um, so there's really two different builds. Actually, there's three builds I kind of like with Jug. Sorry, make that four. So the first one is um, if you want to build into your Graviton, you're going to want, um, it's not here, but you're going to want Meteoric Cooling, uh, meteoric cooling, and then you're going to focus on uh, Neuro Boost Doors, um, maybe a little bit of um, Rutger Spam, um, things like that. Um, Sometimes you'll get lucky, you'll get Carl with 30% uh, cooldown reduction boosts. Um, and uh, you just need to get hit like 45%. Um, heck, even 30% is not bad, and you'll be able to spam, spam that over and over. Uh, second build I like um, is using a rare bone grinder. Um, <clears throat> and that gives you the um, ability to um, take full advantage of the entire... Uh, of Jug's entire ability to create enclosed space like rapidly. You get this, and then you got that. That'll pop the enemies away, or you can back yourself away using that or the rocket. Uh, what the hell was that? Alright. Um, third is a movement speed Jug. Um, jug with high movement speed is just nuts. Um, you can pull off some insane shit with it. It's real fun. Um, there's not a whole lot to build into it. Uh, like, my favorite way to do it is, honestly, uh, using Graviton and, uh, uh, where is it? CBRN pack. Um, level that bad boy up and you get some moving. You get your shit moving. My actuator enhancer's got the passive for movement speed. So it really just depends on how you go. And then the fourth and last one I like to run is anything that has to do with this temporary shield. Um... The straight redirector one works. I look movement speed. Um, so there's this with the straight redirector on the C ball with um, temporary shield works really well. Um, where you'll, especially if you can combo this with uh, this, then you just basically get full temp shields at all times. You're basically immune to damage. Uh, if you combine that with uh, lepton or the Lipton T um, implant, it's one of the legendaries. This one seems to show up a lot, especially on Jug. You're basically immune to damage. Um, but for this purpose, I think I'm going to go with this one. Because it's a nice little combination. Um, this one's fine, but you're not going to reload a whole lot. Um, and the deflection isn't really something you necessarily always need to build into. It's a nice to have. This one's not horrible, uh, especially fire damage. But this might come back to bite me, uh, especially early on. Um, and Jug's whole thing isn't really damage with your weapons, it's more ability spam, usually. That's how I like to play it. Might, probably gonna get nerfed in the future, but like, whatever. Um, and also with the damage output, I mean, we've got the both barrels. This gives me only 25% more for, you know, half that, uh, for a single shot versus this one 100% more for that same shot. So I'm gonna go with that. Just throw this guy on here. Um... Not gonna be anything special. Let's get some credits real quick. 
And then the other thing I like to do is I like to hit a single reroll. Hey, that's pretty good. Um, on the heavy weapon, um, assuming I don't get, uh, you know, the bone grinder right out the, out the gate. Bone grinder is my preferred on this character in general. <clears throat> but anything that's a single shot and then you can sort of cycle things out um, real quick, that's real fun. So, get that rolling. Oh yeah, that's Flame Assault payload. So, generally speaking, Flame Assault you want to aim at the ground. Um, Jug's going to be pure ability spam. You're going to cycle your abilities out, and you're also going to cycle your weapons out rapidly. You're going to mark things as fast as possible. Use your grenades. Wow, I should have warmed up before this. <laughs> but you're going to use your grenades, your um, abilities. They're going to be up real often, and you're just going to want to mark everything. Because you're going to want to reload as little as possible, um, especially with this guy here, this gun. Your eliminator needs, you know, doesn't really need. Um, yeah, it, it's most effective whenever you build toward, um, or whenever you use it more towards uh, trying to reload it without reloading it. Because whenever you kill an enemy, uh, a marked enemy, your ammo comes right back into your weapon. Now, sometimes whenever you're holding it, the if you're out of ammo, you'll start reloading, even though you have ammo. Swapping to your secondary cancels that reload and refills the gun. Your secondary, you fire that off, get some damage, and then you come back and the fun begins. I don't really like a whole lot here. Um, could upgrade this, but I think I want to give it a quick reroll. And this is perfect, honestly. Nope, this is even better. So, uh, a Diabetic Power Cycler. I love this one because Graviton counts as being in the air. That is free 10% damage. And then as you get more and more, you get 25%. And Jug, with all the impulse abilities, you're going to be in the air a lot. So, it's just free damage for doing nothing. Watch the bottom of the screen real quick. <laughs> so... Way forward, punch this guy, get that going. Can you? Thanks. <laughs> yeah, punch his ass to death. Um, those guys are pretty easy to deal with on um, Jug just in general. Just because um, everything about Jug stuns or uh, staggers in some fashion. That's a stun, or a stagger. Uh, that landing, especially, is real good. Um, I'm gonna go fit Neuro Boost, because I want that cooldown reduction, I think. Um, what do I have here? I have that Temp Shield. Cooldown reduction is just plain old good on Jug. And I don't really want the weapon mod, because I'm not dealing with the damage. And obviously, I don't need med tech. So, if I get... Hmm. This is not bad, though. Skill power isn't bad on Jug, either. If you can't get the cooldown, go for skill power. You just want to break shit. But yeah, you can move crazy fast on Jug if you uh, use all of your shit. So as long as you keep moving, you're not going to have to worry about a whole lot. Um, even though I'm just literally ignoring that guy over there. Not really that big a deal, cause uh, all right, you can't hit me. If you keep moving, especially on Jug, you're gonna be moving a lot. There's not a lot I can do. Can you just like? All right, well I don't care about ammo, so let's see what we get here. Uh, oh, I got the fire damage increase. Um, there's also the damage, um, overall damage. Um, things are a little bit interesting. This is a little bit of a crossroads where I want to build into. Um, I think I'm just honestly going to continue building into this here. Um, because I'm going to start getting a little bit faster. Starting to have to deal with enemies a little bit more. And I want that extra damage. So I'm going to roll with that a bit. Rutger. I know I have a billion of these, but I'm only going to roll my 
three or four times. Um, hey, neural boost, thank you. Not great, but I'll take the damage. Um, just to give you an idea, he's really good for Jug. Like so, because then you get neural boost like crazy on him. He has like four or five per. Um, so, you, uh, you're basically guaranteed to get something. Don't be afraid to uh, use your flame assault payload whenever you're, uh, or anything with uh, self damage whenever you're in Graviton. Graviton does make you immune to all damage while you're in the anim animation. Wow, that was a little strange. down uh weapon my attack shop uh, uh not actually sure which one's best here um i might just roll with the weapon mod because i don't have a whole lot of money and getting some damage is nice now that perfect right here uh perfect personally i don't use grenades a lot so this is perfect for me this might be like a deal breaker for you um it just depends on your play style there's no perfect way to run, you know, this game. But that's my personal favorite, and this means I can spam. That's where things start to get crazy. And if I can pick up Meteor Cooling at some point, I will be golden. I know I'm just shooting at that guy's shield, but I don't really care enough to have to deal with uh, that. Right at that moment, so. Also, I'm not sure where it comes from, but sometimes when you get a kill with your abilities, it messes with the cooldowns a little bit. I'm not sure if that comes from something built in, or, honestly, I'm already built into movement speed a little bit already. I should probably just avoid shops in general, huh? Because of this one right here. Especially if I get a uh, shock down the line. Um, Chuck's gonna let me upgrade a bunch of stuff, um, and anyone who's played this game a bunch, like, you're gonna, you're gonna have a lot of those tokens saved up. Um, this isn't really gonna do a ton for me. The only place this is really good for is, like, on Stray Redirector. Like, I could in, build into that and it'll, like, stun everything. Um, because Shock has intrinsic stun. Uh, does Shock have any intrinsic stun? Uh, I butchered that word. Intrinsic stun. I know the grenades do. Electric grenades have intrinsic stun, but I'm not quite sure about all shot. Probably not. Don't take my word for it. Um, so, in this case, since I'm already built into it, um, this is only like 5% extra damage. For the time being, I'm going to increase my movement speed. And we'll just roll with it for now. Um, and fun part about Graviton, apparently you can, uh, you can melee as you come out of it. Nothing special. Graviton's a little bit funky on the uh, tracking sometimes, but that's fine. If you miss, just use it to re relocate and you'll be golden. You really don't need um, Toxic on Jug, even on Neuromancy, just because you'll deal so much damage. I'm gonna go get those credits because that'll give me more movement speed. Mm, 7.41 now. And personally, I really like coming in here. One, yes, because Sex Club, but also because of... If you use Stray Redirector here, you can pick up a ton of cash. So, unless you're actually speedrunning, this is pretty nice, especially in the bar here. Check out all that. And last one. So, that's my personal thing. Just fun. And you can get lean to the meme a little more. Uh, have some fun there. You get bonked. I'll bounce to that. Alright, I expect it to follow him, but... Not where I thought he was. Oh, 
Don't be afraid to double down on your marking stuff on uh, enemies, especially if you're building into like cooldown reduction and whatnot. You're just going to uh, want to. Uh, you're gonna have your abilities up fast enough anyway. It's not gonna matter. Uh, Stray Redirector is great for these guys because the more health an enemy has, uh, the more they take whenever they hit the ground or a wall. Works really well on the mini bosses in Femto. Um, it's fine. I don't really want that. Um, may as well just go with this just to have that damage. Um, I don't really have a whole lot of a build going on right now. Um, my build is honestly really just this with some movement speed and my cooldown, which is already 30%. If I can get that thing down even more, I got meteor cooling, cooling will be golden. But Jug is one of those characters that um, you can be a little bit lax on your build simply because of the cooldowns just in general. Not more that for that one. But whatever. Fuck you. You're annoying. I say that, but I don't really care about them anymore. Uh, oh, also, another fun part about uh, Graviton is the punch has a little bit of an AoE. See? You can hit the ground there, and uh, he'll just die. Watch again. See? Um, so, whenever you see the skills, like, um, the more enemies you hit with Graviton, the more it, like, cools down or damage or whatever. That's what it's talking about. Um, you don't need to be perfect. If you hit uh, the wall next to something, you're going to hit the enemy. Uh, anything you care about? No. So, I'm just going to move on. Grab me some coins from there. I say coins, but it's credits. Building into uh, Jug for movement speed is pretty good as well, just simply because um, I shouldn't really bounce it for that. Because your Graviton already um, increases your movement speed, so I'm gonna be here a little bit because I gotta break some armor, <sighs> and I don't have grenades to do that for me. But your shotgun has a little more range than you think it does. Obviously, you're not going to do a ton of damage from here. But especially on, like, this guy. The giant crit spots, you're going to do plenty of damage. Not much of an issue. Keep hitting my grenade. But yeah, just keep moving on, 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 uh, on this character, especially against this boss. You have the redirector, which will keep you safe from those barrages if you uh so inclined. I don't really save those for that sort of thing, but it's like, whatever. Um, use some movement. Get yourself on top of these sea balls. Collect some ammo. See what I mean about closing the gap and then expanding it again. Jug excels at that. You can get close and then you can back off like crazy. Flame Assault Payload is not bad as a choice, um, because it has the same impulse that, uh, Bone Grinder does. EM Charge does as well, I believe. I, th I think all the rockets might? I can't remember for sure. Um, I think some of them you might specially need the perk for it. But, uh, just in general, um... One sec. I lost my train of thought. One sec. <laughs> this part's a little funky because you can get a l you can get caught up if you're not careful. But straightforward like that. But uh, yeah, uh, the push and pull. The only thing that the other rockets don't have is the self damage reduction, which isn't as big of a deal on Jug because whenever you're in Graviton again, you're immune to damage, so you're not really going to be taking you know. I'm just going to get out of that. <laughs> but also it doesn't explode on impact. so Or it does explode on impact, but not on the wall. So it's a little bit interesting. Um, but that's my personal preference is uh, Bone Grinder for that very reason. You get the impulse and you get the lack of self damage. And you get to launch enemies for crowd control. Similar to the way uh, Stray Redirector does it. So you just sort of have like the ultimate crowd control kit as well. Um, it just works really well. Hello, Irene.
I don't know if that's how you pronounce your name or not. I think it is. So, Watts is where things get a little bit funky. Well, not funky, but like if you're not keeping up with your damage. Um, even if, like even as uh, Snowman mentioned on like his soldier guide. You gotta keep up with your damage a bit. Luckily on Jug, if you're building into your skills anyway, you're not gonna need to worry about that too much. Um, Jug can be built for insane damage output, but you don't necessarily need to. Which is just what kind of makes it special. Because um, you can honestly just beat the shit out of things. I forgot I have grenades now. Uh, but, let me see. You can do some fair amount of damage, otherwise. This is, this is amazing on Jug. It doesn't matter what your build is, but, I, like, I'm already built into skill power. So, throw it on Stray Redirector, because it won't activate on Graviton. Um, oh, not on the, uh, I might, I don't actually remember. Uh, but it's really good because you can do this. Check out all that damage. I don't think there's any wrong class to use that. Um, uh, actually, that's a lie. Um, Hunter doesn't work really well with na Needler Nanites simply because Hunter isn't really built for, um, you know, marking enemies. You're not doing a lot of marking on it. Oh, also, other fun fact about uh, Movement Speed Jug. Nothing in this game is hit scan. Absolutely none of the enemies are hit scan at all. Um, I think, I don't think that's damage, I think that's just blast radius, but, uh, there is, so you, if you're moving fast enough, nothing will hit you all that easily. Um, it's fine, but I kind of want the damage, because I'm already going to be feeling that. You notice we're not really building into the sea balls much, because, uh, going out of your way with the sea balls is, I mean, it's fine, but I prefer to build into, uh, sea ball, um, stuff whenever I have... Uh, V1 C ball break on stray redirector, uh, but I don't have that. So I'm just going to ignore C balls for the time being and just use them for ammo. Check that out. Suddenly, stray redirector does as much damage to all enemies as Graviton does to one. And that is the magic of Nan Needler Nanites. Yay. Yeah. Uh, shield guys are just a bit annoying, but you can deal with them like with a quick melee or whatever. These guys are great. Um, they give, uh, if, if you listen for them, they, uh, put out their, um, I use, I say um a lot, but they put out their, uh, mines, and if you hit the mines with a grenade, they all mark and die. Trying to cycle abilities like I have meteor cooling, <laughs> meteor cooling. I try. I'm trying to call it cooldown, but that's not what it's called. It's cooling. Um, but those guys can be easily dodged, especially whenever you've got a uh, movement speed jug. Uh, I'm up to like 1600, and my movement speed is 786. Um, if I can get this upgrade at some point, that's gonna be awesome. Um, I guess that's not really happening. This is pretty good as well on Stray Redirector. It'll just set your en set enemies on fire. Um, but I'm not really built into, you know, anything elemental. Um, so I'm better off doubling my damage with Needler Nanites. Hey, Carl. How you doing? Uh, anything I care about? Mm, critical damage isn't bad. Um, and I'm not reloading anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I love survival ones. If you've built correctly, this is like the ultimate skill check. You can, uh... If you can clear a room before <laughs> it ends, or before the survival ends, you know you've built correctly. But yeah, you just keep moving, you'll be fine. My 
sound effects are a little low. Um, so that's not bad. Um, weapon mod's fine. Um, I might want some toxic going into Femto. It's not necessarily necessary. I haven't gotten any shell upgrades yet, and that's gonna hurt me a little bit. Um, yeah, I'm gonna see if I can get some toxic. I'm gonna crack some armor a little bit, and that'll keep me going a little bit better than a little extra movement speed will. Plus, if I get the upgrade, then I won't have to deal with it. So, that's alright. Let's see. It just, <laughs> just eats them because I've built the damage a little bit. That guy's armor's just gone. Fun fa fact with Graviton, you can just do that. You won't take damage because you're immune. So, you just take out all of the um, mines because of the AoE and you don't take damage. <laughs> um, I mean, that's not horrible. I can move this here and boost up the damage to my rocket. This isn't really going to do a lot for me, so um, I'm going to use my reroll here. Um, oh, this is really good, actually. Yeah, that's perfect. Um, so I, that'll bring my cooldowns down. We'll see what happens. That is an ability spam build. Beautiful. AOE they beat. And you don't need to be hitting enemies with your redirector to uh, deal the uh, nanite damage. Um, they just need to be marked. So you can activate it literally anywhere in the arena. <laughs> uh, neural boost and a shop. Shop's not good for me. Cooldown and skill power. This, this is a fantastic one. If you can boost your skill power and your cooldown at the same time, well, you're gonna have a great time. Like so. Wow, I'm not that good at throwing my grenades, huh? Constantly switch your weapons. Um, if you're not switching your weapons, you're doing something wrong, especially on Jug. You can get away with that on other classes. Um, it just doesn't really matter as much. Like, go on Engineer, you're going to be uh, mostly on your Heavy. Um, you go Immune real quick, just so you can just tank all those uh, grenades. Um, but uh, on Jug, your best friend is Quick Swapping. I have Swap bound to my right click. Uh, to make that real nice and easy. I don't play a lot of Engineer, so it doesn't do a lot for me. Um, I think I might bite the bullet and actually buy this slot. And that'll be the only thing I buy. Hey. Give me my reload speed back. Get some credits back real quick. Uh, this guy's kind of fun. Um, he's not a giant threat on Jug, simply because of how much you move. Now, the problem really does come from... Marking and whatnot here. But, uh, you're generally fine as long as you keep attacking him. Your AoEs will take care of a lot of it. And you can negate his damage using both of your abilities. Or, if you're not in the position to do that, you just dodge out. Be careful of that. Shield. I'll be back to you later. Actually, I forgot as I was speaking that shields do not last forever on the ground. Ammo, or just resources in, in general. I think they last around 10 seconds or so. Maybe 15. I can't remember for sure. I'll need to time that later. But, uh, they don't last forever. So, you can leave them if you don't need them, but I don't really recommend doing that. Fuck 
you. You're dead. Cool. Not horrible. Um, a little bit scuffed, but you're just gonna keep moving, stay in the air, keep an eye on his patterns. Um, whenever it, you don't need to stay close to him like you can on um, Soldier, like with Snowman's uh, little strat of getting him to do his, you know, damage. Because if you're on Jug, you're gonna be in the air most of the time anyway, and most of his attacks won't do a lot to you. Um, either you're in the air or you're just straight up immune. <laughs> Uh, it has a l Jug has a lot of immunity and really really fast cooldowns uh, So you're just immune to damage a lot Right here's ow my eardrums. I always forget how loud but you can get a lot of coins or a lot of credits to drop there if you're lucky um, That's one of my other favorite spots Let's see. All right, these guys are fun they don't pose a ton of threat on Jug because you can use your um, Graviton to catch up to them. Stun them, punch them. But they can be a bit annoying. Uh, I could go for more damage. Go for more damage here. Um, honestly, this is just, I just, I like this for the passive. This is overall damage, 5% versus 30. Yeah, my, my, uh, rocket's falling behind a bit, so I'm going to try and bring it up a little bit. Um, I'll throw it here, use my graviton to power that up. Careful here, sometimes they spawn next to the door and you don't see them. Uh, like vendors and whatnot. That's gonna hurt. Guess not. See, I was worried about my uh, rocket damage, but that ended up not being an issue. Uh, your kit will just constantly stun these. If this guy, if they're stuck in the corner like that and they're giving you trouble, just back off a little bit. Um, since Jug's whole thing is making space and then closing the gap real quick, you're not going to be putting yourself in a disadvantage situation just by backing off for a second. That rebound is beautiful. All right, finally a shell upgrade. Let's see what we get here. Um... Nothing I'm particularly interested in. I probably should have kept that one last reroll for this. Um, this is probably my best one here. Instead of dealing with it, this one's just a nice to have. This one I don't really like. Uh, it's like the only one I'd advise against simply because whenever you're using Stray Redirector, um, if you're trying to cycle abilities out quickly, you're not going to be taking advantage of that operational duration. It's good for like tanking, um, like lots of attacks in succession, like uh, against Liz. Um, but once you learn Liz's fight, it's not that bad, um, and you don't really need it. So I'm going to go with that. Even if you only hit one enemy, it does give you a damage boost. I'm not sure how high that is. It's Chuck. All right, Chuck. So my usual thing with Chuck, I usually just buy some implants. Actually, I should use really, I should, uh, level up a couple first instead of doing that. Um, and one more here. That doesn't do me any good, nor does that. All right. That's not horrible. I'll keep this for uh, the passive. That's a nice passive as well. I'll throw that there. And then this is this fun one. Um, since I'm just doing a ton of damage on the redirector, I may as well throw this on. Um, but Chuck can power you up real fast, especially if you have enough tokens. Just hit it a couple more times, especially this one with that movement speed. What am I up to at this point? Almost a thousand. Um, I 100% have enough tokens saved up, even behind the unlimited that I have uh, shown. Um, but uh, you may not. Uh, but it just depends on how your runs go. Sometimes you don't need Shuck. Sometimes you do. Sometimes they'll show up a couple of times. You're annoying. They turn around sometimes to run away from you, and then they'll just... You know, die. Um, and Graviton will take care of them. Uh, that pops the C-Ball, which gets rid of their 
extra abilities, their armor, and if you've done enough damage, we'll just outright kill them. Hmm. Well, hallways of death in the uh, inner port are just pure fun. Stun, stun, stun. Chuck's just really good for crowd control in general. I'm barely losing any health here. I don't really have anything really built for it. Um, that's not horrible. This isn't bad either, simply because your weapons aren't really built for critting anyway, and I have the crit damage bonus. Um, so that may be worth grabbing. I don't really need that. Um, hmm. I don't really need that either. But these are all decent. Having your damage up is nice. Especially this passive. Actually, this passive makes it worth picking up just as is because that 15% extra to light enemies applies to everything. Every single piece of damage you have will do 15% more damage. So, everything just dies. My eardrums. I don't know what that is, but I'll need to address that at some point. <laughs> Um, you don't always need to deal with the sea balls on these guys. You can go right through it um, sometimes, uh, a lot of the times. But uh, um, yeah, because it's shop and med tech, I don't need either. Uh, fire rate and projectile speed. Oh, it's not blast radius. That's good. I'll take that. Uh, anybody here? No. I think I didn't finish a thought, and I'm gonna listen back to it later and be like, why didn't I ever finish that thought? Uh, but yeah, you can just go right through the armor, even if they have sea balls. Um, especially if you have uh, the one um, graviton um, upgrade that does double damage to armor. You're just gonna go right through it. But in general, you'll get used to it over time, and you'll be able to uh, figure out when to uh, get your melees and how to move and deal with those sort of enemies. Escrow's up next. Please give me another cooldown reduction. I will kiss you. Um, actually, I don't really need it. So, um, this will kill me. And um, in here, if you're not careful, that's not horrible. But I don't need either of these really. Um, well, make a grenade. See, the credits are fine, but I'd rather keep my jump just in case. Well, I'm already built into. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna see what happens. Um, <laughs> and we're gonna buy one more of those because I'm going to need that down the line. Meteoric cooling doesn't work on Iskra. I'm not sure why. Probably the way he's coded. Uh, you stand real close, you'll be fine. You can also break those Tesla things, so. No real issues there. Die. Kill it. Kill it. So just keep moving. Um, if you're not moving, you're immune. Um, using your abilities. So, you're generally okay. Um, you're, the drones are there just to keep you alive. See, this is why I didn't want to lose the multi-jump. Because then I have issues like that. But, that's where Graviton comes in. Feel the fire of God. You're not going to take a ton of damage from much of anything. And let's back out. Careful whenever you're in the air, um, or you may end up with, uh, by end up launching yourself with the uh, shotgun because of the impulse.
You can actually stay down here if you're uh, built for it. That doesn't trigger the uh, extra shields. Interesting. But uh, yeah, you can just stay down here and you'll be fine. You're not going to take enough damage to die. Uh, you're cycling out immunity constantly, um, and you're in the air and all that jazz, so you'll be okay staying down there. You'll be below the lasers, and uh, the enemies aren't really going to be looking for you or hitting you too much. Yeah, uh, just learn the fight. Keep moving. Um, you can stick real close to Iskra to get into safe zones, but you don't really need to do that because of how immune you tend to be. Um, unless you're built into something a little bit different. Um, the only build that doesn't really work too well with uh, Iskra is if you're um, built directly into uh, the building closing the gap. Um, normally, I like to uh, break all these pillars because they'll give you a shit ton of money, but I don't want to sit through that. I don't want to subject anyone to that watching. Uh, we'll start with the shell upgrade. Meteor cooling or uh, double damage to armor. I think those are the ones I want. I don't really have anything for sea balls. Um, I have this, but I don't need that because <laughs> Flame Assault Payload already seeks enemies. Alright, so this one you're looking for... I'm not sure. Uh, you can usually... Oh, there she is. She uh, has lines going toward where she is, so you can track her down pretty easily, but the Jug deals with her so well simply because she's all in one area, and you can hit her with all of your abilities. Uh, you're honestly... <laughs> the biggest threat in these arenas are these guys, the uh, peace officers. They'll do more damage to you than the enemies. Uh, oh boy. Stun's not horrible, but I'm not built into stun. I'll go with this one, just because it'll make um, collecting ammo a little bit easier. I'll leave med tech for last. Um, in case I take some health damage, I'll be able to uh, deal with that. It's Bancho. He's aggressive. Hammer guy. And he's got AoE, so... And range stuff, so... You're gonna have a little bit of issue, but keep your space with Jug. You can get in real close and then back off real fast. And then you just get in the air or you use your immunity and you're not gonna have to deal with his uh, abilities much. Also, if you stun him, he cancels out his attacks. Same thing with Laika. I think most mini bosses, if you uh, just stun them or stagger them, either one works. Um, you just straight up cancel their attacks. Um, and since Jug is constantly cycling those sorts of things out, you're going to have a great time. I love dealing with hammer guys on Jug, because they're all melee, and you can get in and then get back out without having to deal with them. Hammer bros, speak the devil. If you combine a dash with the Eliminator shot, you are not going to have to deal with uh, space issues a ton. You'll get create more space real fast. I got stuck on something. Let's get some armor real quick. Some bonus. Temporary shield, whatever they call it. Hit myself with a grenade. Yeah, this is why I leave health for last. These guys have a lot of health, too. Um, and there's two of them. A little bit finicky, like I mentioned, but use it to relocate. Just track your enemies, you'll be alright. Uh, electric damage, that'll give me some more damage overall. Especially if I have to deal with one of the robotic mini-bosses. Uh, let's get some credits. In case I take more damage, I don't want to use up my health now. Uh, this one's probably going to be the Bellwether. Nope, it's Leica. Leica's really easy to deal with. Um, he's got a ton of armor, but uh, you break through that armor, you don't have to deal with it. He's got so much health, or so little health, it doesn't matter. 
And if you've got the uh, double damage on armor, it just he just outright dies. Also, for some reason, the armor counts it towards his health. So whenever he He's having a great time. Whenever uh, you do an impulse with a stray on him and he lands, he takes a shit ton of damage. I, I, I'm not quite sure why, because his health pool is real low in general. But, um, I don't know. But he takes a lot of damage. This is with all the uh, mini bosses. Oh boy, it's these guys. A little on the annoying side, but I'll deal with it. Uh, okay. Good, that was the right one. I want you. Can you charge, please? He went like two inches. Yeah, they're not bad to deal with. Um, just keep strafing. Um, keep an eye on whenever they uh, charge. They do a lot of damage if they hit you, but uh, they're easy to avoid. Um, focus your efforts on one enemy as much as possible among the sumos. Get him dead, and then uh, the other one's pretty easy to deal with. Peanut butter inside the jelly. Shop, anything I care for. This. This is really good. I'm gonna buy that. Throw that there. Um. Then I'll shatter some armor whenever I'm in there. I don't know if this works directly with Graviton, but if you have a toxic weapon, um, this passive means that you're auto marking enem uh, your enemies. Whenever you break uh, their armor real nice. I'm going to have a little bit of a trouble dealing with her in general because of... <sighs> I don't have my spam for usual. I should have dodged that, but I'm not paying attention. Get in. Get back out. Jug's prerogative. Great space. Get some pillars between. That's right there. Just keep an eye on her. Um, all of her attacks are projectiles, like basically everything in the game. So the further you are from her, this arena is massive. You're going to be fine. Also, has a mutant there, so. She does tend to be real annoying, though. Check it. <laughs> you can't damage me! You can also break those sea balls um, real easily while they're in motion. Um, her turrets, they can be problematic, but since you're getting in and out, if you can catch them real quick off the bat with the uh, AoE of your uh, Graviton. And uh, she's... And, uh, I mean, you won't have a lot of issues, um, but you can also just avoid them. Because, um, again, they're projectiles. Like, everything. But they're slower. Uh, so... Uh, They don't usually do a whole lot to you. This place, uh, those aren't the actual mini-bosses. You'll see them. I think one of them just died. Um, but it's not the actual mini-boss. It's a, uh, an enemy type, a uh, similar type, like anyone with a hammer is, uh, one of the hammer enemies. Or this guy's just a regular old sumo, but dressed up as the apex. Um, so he doesn't have the same health or anything. If you lose track of her, um, like if she's above your head, Put your stray redirector on. I'm just gonna tank that one, honestly. <laughs> you don't want to tank that in Neuromancy, though. Uh, Neuromancy is a completely different animal. I made a mistake by trying to go after that one. Sometimes you can get stuck on projectiles. She's over on the corner, huh?
That's interesting. I've never seen two turrets on top of each other like that. Oh my god, there's a third one. Let's just do that for now. Uh, let's just carpet bomb real quick. You're here in this corner with me. Why are you in the bush, lady? You weren't supposed to take it literally. <laughs> But yeah, it's, um, nothing too special. Um, Jug is all about the push and pull. Spam your abilities um, and those abilities. The best part about it, you don't need to target an enemy on your primary. So you can just use it for raw movement without having to uh, deal with an enemy or having to target anything. Um, so you just build into whatever you got. Um, in this case, uh, this wasn't an incredible build. You don't need to be over the top with them in deep dive. Um, but, uh, in Neuromancy, you're going to want to focus on builds a bit better. Um, however, this kind of build is generally good enough if you have the knowledge to deal with your enemies. Um, if you noticed, I, even the stuff I tanked was stuff that I knew I could tank. Um, like stuff I knew wouldn't break my armor. You gotta just keep an eye on your, um positioning keep an eye on the uh, boss fight this is a very learnable fight it's a little bit long but it's very easy to learn well not i won't say it's easy to learn it takes a little bit of time to learn but it's very learnable and once you do learn it it's honestly a bit of a cakewalk just keep moving uh refill your ammo use the enemies as fodder they're going to be there to refill your shields and your ammo they're not really there to hurt you um they can hurt you if you don't deal with them but that's like it um so um, I'm going to think of something later, probably, that I didn't include in this video and punch myself for it, maybe. <laughs> but, um, that's about all I got about it. Um, nothing special. Um, Jug's really just ability spam central. Um, I would say the only thing you really don't want to, um, grab... Uh, and in terms of these upgrades is probably this one uh, this is very specialized um, and you have to build very into it specifically um, but if that's your jam go for it um, he's got a lot of passive upgrades uh, but this one's extremely good this one and this one if you can combine those two um, along with the cooldown you're going to have a fantastic time on uh, Jug uh, if I missed anything, yell at me in the server or in the comments or whatever the fuck, wherever I post this. I don't really care. Um, just yell at me. Um, I'll forget something important. And, uh, that's about all that is. Um, again, Neuromancy, um, it, it's really the same deal. Obviously, there's more to do with it. They're dealing more damage. They're a little bit faster. Uh, a little bit more armor. But your gameplay loop is going to be the same. You're going to be immune for most of your, uh... Um, your damage loop if you were uh, built into that um, or you're going to be moving fast enough that the enemies aren't going to be able to hit you um, just that's just Jug's thing so uh, only reason I didn't do Neuromancy I'm just not confident in my ability to uh, finish a Neuromancy run while talking about it so again leave me any questions um, tell me I missed anything doesn't really matter to me um just, just, just give me shit. <laughs> so, uh, hope this was useful. Take it easy.